This is Bob with Remote Control Warehouse in the Gamer's Garage with a quick video to talk about problems with PlayStation 3 eject and reset button contacts. Sometimes when you reassemble your PlayStation 3, especially if the machine's been dropped, these two contacts, these two springy metal contacts, almost like a buckboard spring, sort of a Z-shaped spring that's soldered right to the motherboard, Sometimes when you reassemble put the cover back on, you'll notice you have to really mash either the eject button or the reset button uh, to get them to work. And normally you should just very lightly touch it and it works. There's a contact, there's a contact that's made between those two springs and the underside of the cover. There's your eject, there's your power. And those springs make contact with these metal backs here. They don't make contact if the springs are crushed down, which can happen if the machine was dropped. So check to make sure that these springs are at even height. Usually one will be good and the other one will be kind of crushed. If one is, press, is crushed downward, kind of grab it with your fingers or your fingernails and just gently pull up on that spring to get it to be an even height with the other, uh, with the other uh, button and then put your cover back on, test it again. Remember, you should just have to very lightly touch that, uh, that button to make uh, the machine either turn on or eject the disk. So if you, have to, you find you have to mash those down, take the cover off, check those springs, and that's a, a fairly common uh, cause of this problem. It's aggravating if you have to really smash that button. Sometimes in shipping, when we ship units back to customers, uh, after repair, they'll say they have to mash one of the two buttons. Probably got hit during shipping, so I'll tell them if they want, they can take the cover off, check those springs. It's real simple to fix. Just be careful, don't pull real hard on it, just up enough to get it even with the other button. Usually both buttons aren't smashed, and it's probably, it's about, oh, it's probably about, uh, well, it's not quite, probably about an eighth of an inch or so space. It's hard to show on the camera. Shop cat between the top of the uh, of the contact and the motherboard. So just about an eighth an inch gap there and you'll be back in business. Thanks for watching.